I'm thoroughly impressed with this. I have never seen my hair look like this. This is what I was talking about when I said I wanted to define wash and go. I'm kind of like want to punch myself in the face because it's like I had all this sitting under wigs and braids for years and I had no idea. Beautiful painter, I love the way you painted the sky tonight. Beautiful savior, come have your way. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to be doing attempt number two at a wash and go. So if you watched my previous video, you know that I did the maximum hydration method. I just got finished with that for my wash day because I'm on a mission to get the most defined wash and go ever. And the results were amazing. They were astounding. I literally just had my hair in this bun for about 20 minutes, setting up everything to film this video. And so we're going to get into it. So if you're interested in that, definitely keep watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button, put your notifications on so you don't miss any uploads. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for daily content. And check out my hair care line if you're interested in getting some products to help promote growth. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so recap on my last wash and go video. Part of it was the gel was just not for type 4 hair. I used the curl days gel and then also my hair was not at its peak of definition because I feel like just blow drying my hair for the past couple of years. My hair has forgotten how to clump and define in its natural texture. So the maximum hydration method definitely helped a lot with that. I highly recommend going and watching that video if you're struggling with definition because the results blew me away. So I went to Target yesterday and I spent like a hundred and thirty dollars on a bunch of different hair care products based on you guys suggestions and some more research that I did and we're just gonna be trying them out for the next couple weeks until I can find the perfect wash and go combo for me so today we're gonna be doing a mousse and a gel combo because that's what I was seeing a lot from you guys' suggestions. So today we're going to be using the Dew uh, Texture Foam. This was something that was highly, highly suggested. I did a mousse only wash and go a couple of months ago. And I used a different mousse from the Dew. And y'all are like, you got to get this one. You got to use this one. This one really defines your hair. So got this. And then we're going to be using the Wet Line Gel. I've actually never tried this gel before. So a lot of people were saying it's similar to Eco Styler, but it's better. And so I'm really excited for that. So I'm only going to be using these two products in my hair. I'm not going to use my hair butter because I just want to see how these will work by itself because I'm just curious. So these are the products we're going to be using today. Okay, so this is my hair straight out of the shower. The Maximum Hydration Method did wonders. If you watched... Uh, my last wash and go video, you saw that once I finished washing my hair, like right before I started, I had nowhere near as much definition as I do in my hair now. So I'm, I'm really excited. Like this is kind of crazy. I, I literally have water in my ear. So I'm just going to separate my hair into four sections. I'm going to try my best not to mess up the curls and the definition that I have. And one thing that I did learn from my last video is that I need to just genuinely just take my time and define each curl. So don't try to go too fast. All right, I'm going to start with this small section right here. First, we got to drench it in water. All right, then going in with the texture foam. I don't know how much to do. Should be good. It smells good. I mean, that's what it looks like so far. All right. Then I'm going to go in with the wet line gel. This looks pretty similar to Eco Styler. So. And just apply it. And then I'm just going to go in and smooth each individual curl to make sure that it is fully defined. Ooh, I think I like this combination. Yo, look at that. Oh my goodness, y'all see that? Alright, let's keep going. I'm getting excited now. Alright, spray with a lot of water. Going with the mousse.
All right, then the wet line gel. Okay, I think I'm using a little bit too much mousse, so. But I'm liking the combo. Now I'm just gonna go in and smooth each curl. This looks 10 times better, y'all. Like, 10 times better. Y'all, this looks 10 times better. Oh my goodness. Y'all see that? Alright, let me do a couple more sections and then I'm gonna come back. I'm done with the first back half. Do y'all see this definition? Oh my goodness. This is like 360 from my last wash and go. This combination is... Eat. This is what I was talking about when I said I wanted to find wash and go. I can't believe that's my hair. Oh my goodness. I, only thing I don't know is, is like, so I did the maximum hydration method, right? And that gave me like a lot of definition. I don't know if I have to do that every single wash day to get a wash and go this defined. Because that thing took forever. Or maybe if I have to do it for a couple of weeks until my hair naturally looks like this in a wash and go without having to do the maximum hydration method every single wash day. I don't know, but I'm shook. And this gel mousse combo is eating down bad. Oh my goodness, y'all, oh my goodness. I'm really taking my time to, I'm going in small sections, like I'm not rushing. Also, I've been putting the clip like right after the section. That way I won't mix it up with hair that's already done because I was getting a little confused. But, like, this, the left, like, bottom corner of my hair tends to be the most frizzy. So, I'm going in smaller sections than I did on the right side. Because I know the history. So, make sure it's soaking wet. I'm only taking, like, three or four pumps of this mousse. And I can already tell how it's different. It has, I don't know, it's like a cream mousse. Like, it has, like, a cream consistency, even though it's mousse i don't know making sure i'm getting the roots just working the product on the hair and then taking a decent glob of gel starting at my roots like i did last time and then working the gel down i don't know when you mix them together it's just it creates such a nice consistency for the hair i don't know all right and then i just start defining each curl so I just kind of smooth it. That's really it. Like I just separate the curls where they naturally go. And then I just smooth them. So like this curl. Smooth it. And I'm trying to make them like medium size. So I'm not trying to separate them too much. And when I did wash and goes before. Like last time I did the wash and go. I didn't do that. Like I didn't individually like smooth each curl. Or define each curl. So I think the issue last time was a combination of the products, my technique, and the state of my hair. So hopefully this looks good when it dries. That's going to be the real like test to see whether it works or not. But look, that's super defined. Like, OMG. Did I really get it on my second try? Second attempt? What? So like this, when I did this before, I would have just done this as a whole section. But now, I'm going to split it in two to make sure that every section gets a good amount of product. And also, my hair is just super thick in the back. Especially the back center and the crown area. So, got to make sure. And this is fun. Like, this is really fun. I can't remember the last time I actually enjoyed doing my hair. But today was a lot, y'all. Today really was a lot. Like, I started my hair at, like, 1.30. It's currently, like, 7.30 right now. It's just the hydration method just takes forever because it's, like, three different steps. You have to sit and wait for stuff to set and sit. So, it was a lot. But, best decision. I'm so glad I decided to do that. Okay, now we're going with the gel. Really making sure I'm getting, like, in the center of my hair. Not neglecting that. I'm loving this combo, y'all. I really am. 
Oh my goodness. And then I'm going in, separating the curls, smoothing them. Also, my hair is detangled, so that's good as well. See, look at that. Just smoothing each curl. Yeah, this part of my hair tends to always be the frizziest. This, this and the front left of my hair. So the left corner and the front side tends to be the frizziest. But hopefully it won't this time. It's looking good. Make sure those ends are nice. The right side still looks amazing, so at least we know that it's good. And I feel like I'm going to get less shrinkage. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm going to get less shrinkage. So hopefully that will be the case because that will be nice. Like, it will be nice if my hair looked like this dry. Not going to lie because that would like more reflect my length, but a girl can only wish. She can only wish. Maybe I'll get a hooded dryer and that might help. All right. This is the last section in the bottom left. Y'all, I've literally had to charge, like, my camera batteries, like, 24-7 today and, like, rotate them out. Quick tip, if you have a camera and you film, like, hours at a time, like me, have multiple batteries. That way, when one's dead, you can just switch it out. That's the best way to go about it. All right. Moose. This pump's a little bit hard to pump, though, but... Okay, just smoothing the mousse all over. All right, then going in with a good bit of gel. It's nice to see that my like roots are defined. Cause usually I can get the definition at the ends, but like from the middle upwards, it's been a struggle. I'm making sure again, that when I smooth it, I'm smoothing it from the root. Like I'm going all the way up at the root and then smoothing it down. Cause I don't want my that's it for the bottom left side looking fantabulous all right I gotta make sure I pay attention to the ends because I'm noticing they're a li little tad bit frizzy but I mean usually if like by this time like working on this section this section would have shrunk up here so the fact that it's still over the shoulder i really hope that with this i don't get as much shrinkage i just again y'all i don't mind shrinkage just that when it's like literally your hair to your waist and it shrinks up above your shoulders like to your chin it's like it's annoying it really is okay y'all uh, i'm officially done with all the back that's insane like all the curls are popping everything is super defined i'm honestly pretty shook this looks 10 times better, y'all. That's crazy. It's thirsty. All right, now getting to the front. Just part in small sections where my hair naturally is separating. And we're going to see because sometimes the front be acting weird. So let's just give it a shot. Might need to fill this up again soon. All right, moose. <laughs> all right, then it's going with the gel. Smooth all the product in. And then we're gonna go in and separate. Taking my time where my hair is naturally separating. That's where I'm going to separate. And there we go. Oh my goodness. This is about to be the best wash and go ever. Let's get into the last section on this side. And we're almost done. So I've been doing this for about like 30 minutes. Um... But, I mean, it's turning out really good, so I don't mind that it takes longer. As long as it turns out well, you know what I'm saying? I gotta remember to keep putting this clip right here so I don't mix up sections that I've already done with sections that I haven't.
Y'all, my widow's peak is growing back. I cut it in, what, October? Maybe? Yeah, I think maybe October, November, so. But look at that. That's already super defined, and there's no product in that. That maximum hydration, baby. I didn't think it was going to work this well. I'm being completely honest. All right, smoothing. Everywhere. I really like this mousse. I didn't think I was going to, but I really like this mousse, okay? Get a glob of gel. It just makes the nicest, creamiest texture on the hair, and it feels really nice. All right, and then we just start separating the curls. This is probably the most important section because it's on the top, so no mess ups. But like I said, this section is pretty much already defined. I'm telling y'all, all the years I've been natural, been natural for what? This is my seventh year. Never have I seen my curl pattern this defined. Ever. I maybe have done 10 or so wash and goes since being natural. And I've never seen my hair do this. Y'all see this definition. What have I been doing my whole life? I should have been doing this since I've been natural. What the heck? Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. I think I got into protective styling so much because I wasn't allowed to do it when I was in high school. And so I used to see everybody, like all the black girls get braids, have sew-ins and stuff. And I never got to experience that. And so when I became old enough to where I could do it and make my own decisions about my hair... I think I just went OD. And so I think I was forced to wear my hair during the hardest times of being natural. So number one, when, when I was transitioning, because I transitioned for two years. And then like the first couple months of being natural where it's the hardest because you're trying to figure out your, you know, your hair. And so because of that, I think whenever I was able to protect the style, I just did it and never looked back. And so I never really embraced my hair, like wearing it in its natural texture. And so... I didn't know my hair could do this, y'all. I'm being honest. Like, this is, like, a, such a transparent moment. I didn't know my hair could do this. I'm beyond shook. I had no idea my hair was capable of looking this nice. So that makes me really happy. And also really sad because it's like, why did I never give it a fair chance? You know? All right. So this last section, like I said earlier, is the trickiest to do. It's just the definition and stuff. It's just always had a different curl pattern than the rest of my hair. So we're going to see what happens. Like, I have no idea. I'm a little nervous because, like I said, like, this, this part of my hair has always, like, just been weird. Okay, then gel. That was a lot of gel. But the more, the merrier. All right, let's see. This combo smells really good. Like, that wet line gel smells good with the uh, texture foam. Okay, let's just start separating curls and see what we get. I'm, like, trying to figure out what this curl looks like. Because it's never really been, like, a curl or a coil. It's just been more like this weird wave. You know? I don't know. It, it just looks very different. Maybe y'all can't tell. Maybe y'all like Britney, like, they, all your hair looks the same. But to me, I literally, I told y'all this before, whenever I big chopped, I cut this side a lot shorter than the right side because I thought that the natural texture was heat damaged because it was so different than the rest of my hair. Like, look, it's, it's different. So, I don't really know how to, to describe it. Not mad at it, I'm just confused. Like, why are you trying to act different? Like, look, I don't know if y'all can tell a difference, but I notice a difference. It just looks different. It's not really a curl. It's just like a wave. I don't really know what to make of it. We're going to keep going. All right, y'all, almost done. I'm going to make this one into two sections because I want to be extra and really make sure all the hair gets defined. So let me just split this up. I'm like drenched, y'all. It's ridiculous. I think I'm almost out of water, too, so it's perfect. All right. Mousse. Really getting those roots. I'm telling y'all, that will make or break this wash and go. All right, then get gel. Smooth it along the roots. 
and then we'll start separating the curls this is towards the top of my head where you can see it so I gotta be more careful with how I separate I'm like so focused like I do not want to mess this up because it's looking too good to be true if I'm being honest like it's looking way too good to be true all right y'all we are all done I am a mess but baby this little combo right here might have eight we, we might have ate. I feel like I have a completely new head of hair from last week. Like, that's crazy. I wanted to get in really close so y'all could just see how defined my hair is. And I feel like it has a really nice hold as well. Like, the right side has already started to dry a little bit. And I can tell that it's going to hold the, the texture. Like, it's not going to dry frizzy. So now, for the people that have always, like, been curious what my hair type is, everybody been guessing... I'm gonna give y'all an answer. I'm gonna say I have 4A and 4B hair. I would say I have about 70% 4A, 30% 4B. Some of the sections in the back are a little bit tighter, but I feel like we can go with 4A and that will be fine. But I'm thoroughly impressed with this. I'm really excited to see how this dries. I wish I would have started my hair earlier because it's literally nine o'clock. I'm not gonna stretch it or anything. I just really wanna see how it dries in its natural state i do have something to do tomorrow so hopefully it dries in time so i can stretch it uh as far as shrinkage goes i'm not sure how much it's gonna shrink again i would be good if it was like this length like this is a good length to me but if it shrinks up to maybe right here like between shoulder and chin length i'll accept that i, I will genuinely upset accept that no hard feelings or nothing all right so i'm gonna leave it alone i'm not gonna touch it i'm just gonna let it air dry so i don't think my hair will be fully dry by the time i have to go out tomorrow um i have something to do around one but i will show y'all what it looks like before i head out the house and then by the time i come back it should be fully dry so i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like when i come back and we're just gonna go from there okay guys so it is currently almost six o'clock the next day so it's been a little less than 24 hours about 20 hours since i last saw you guys my hair is like 95 percent dry this is all dry the only part that's wet is like in the back center part it's still a little damp probably because my hair is the thickest back there and so it's just harder for it to dry but y'all look at this definition i have never seen my hair look like this and like the combo gave my hair a nice good crunch like you can hear it listen so it crunches and it also has a hold so last night when i left you guys i literally just flipped my head over and put on my scarf and put on my bonnet that way the back of my hair wouldn't scrunch up and then as soon as i woke up this morning at like seven i took it all off and i just air dried it while i worked out and then around 12 o'clock i went out to lunch and also like grocery shopping so i was outside so my hair was able to like do a little bit better with drying so now it's about 90 percent dry i do want to go ahead and stretch my hair because the shrinkage is ridiculous but like i said in the last Last video if you watched it i don't mind the shrinkage yeah it's disrespectful but i don't mind it if my hair is defined like this i was in the elevator in my building and, and like somebody complimented me was like girl your hair is so pretty i was like thank you and then i had somebody else at the store compliment me about it and i was just like okay so so i think what i did was called the shingling method smoothing each curl i think that's the method we're gonna stick with i don't know but before i do stretch it i want my hair to be completely dry so I am going to go in and diffuse my hair, just that back middle section that is still um, wet, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, that only took about five minutes. So, we might have to experiment with diffusing because I would say if I diffuse my hair, it might take about an hour for all my hair to dry completely. And I don't think I get as much frizz as I'm thinking I would have. That's why I didn't want to diffuse at the beginning because I was thinking it's going to just give me a bunch of frizz. But it might not because I was just going in this motion just 
doing like that. I wasn't trying to push up or scrunch or nothing. Just laying it flat on my hair like this. So, I don't know. I don't know why this looks white on camera. I think it's just a shine, but it's not. But, okay. My plan for stretching my hair is just to wear it in a pineapple. Because, as you can see from the current shape of my hair, the back shrinks up a lot more than the front. So, by wearing my hair up in a pineapple about right here, the front can stretch this much and the back can stretch a lot. And so, by doing that, it will even out my hair to where I don't have, like, this bob and I have more of, like, longer in the back, kind of shorter in the front to kind of frame my face a little bit better. So, I'm just going to take all of my hair and I'm going to put it into a scrunchie, a silk scrunchie, of course. If I can find my silk scrunchie. I don't know if I want to use this one or this one. This one's bigger, but it's not as elastic, but this one, this one I can only wrap my hair around one time. That might be the best thing to do at one time, so we might just use this one. But I'm going to work in sections to get it all up, so slowly and gently, especially in the middle, like making sure all the curls are evenly in the ponytail. And then I will slowly work in the back and pull those curls up. To make sure they're all being equally stretched. And then I'll just pull at the top. Taking my time really pulling the back to make sure that the, those curls are being fully stretched out. And like I said, I don't want to do it at the very center of my head. I like to glue it kind of like the back center. That makes sense because I don't want to stretch out the back too much. Alright, I'm going to pull one more time. All right, and I'm gonna take my scrunchie. You see? I think I missed a curl on the back, but it's okay. And that way the back can stretch out really nice and the front can also stretch out, but not too much. This low key is my puff though. <laughs> That's funny. Then I'm just gonna take my scarf, put it on. And then take my bonnet. Alright, so I'm going to leave this on overnight and then tomorrow when I go to church, I will take down my hair and show y'all what it's looking like. Alright guys, so it's about 8.15, so it's been about two hours. So it doesn't really take that long for my hair to stretch, so I'm just going to go ahead and show y'all what it's going to look like if I would have waited for tomorrow. Knowing me, I'm going to be running late for church and I'm not going to have time to film it before I leave, so we're just going to do it now. But basically, the, my hair just looks like a little cute puff. So, I'm definitely going to be wearing my hair like this when I go work out. And that's just going to make my life easier. And then just take it down during the day when I'm doing stuff. So, let's see. Okay, I am noticing that as I move my hair, I see stuff falling out. But I don't, I'm wearing like black sweatpants. I don't actually see any flakes on my pants. So, don't know what that is. But like when I shake my hair, stuff is falling out. All right, then we gotta shake my hair out. Then I'm just gonna pull my hair. Make sure all the hair is going the same direction or the right direction. Just really pulling, especially the bottom because you know it was like sitting up here. So I'm gonna pull it to make sure it goes back flat. All right, y'all, and that's pretty much it. So you can see me uh, wearing it in that high puff just for like two hours. Like the shape of my hair kind of rounded itself out so the front is a little bit more shorter and the back is a little bit more elongated so it gives me more of a nice like round shape. The back is looking nice and it still has crunch. Definitely like manipulating it up into that puff got rid of a little bit of crunch, but I mean, it's still pretty crunchy, which I like because that lets me know that the definition is going to hold. So now I'm really curious to see how long this is actually going to last. Like, am I going to be the type of person that can wear her wash and go for a week, two weeks? Like, how long? Right now, I'm just hoping to get to day seven and then just kind of see how it looks. I don't know if I need to be like somebody that wears it till day five and then like it goes in a puff for two days and then I wash my hair again. But I'm really excited about this journey. This wash and go looks amazing and I honestly feel like we can get it even better. So I'm really excited. I feel like <laughs> I liked the product combination. I liked the do. 
texture foam with the wet line gel. I really like that combination, but I feel like I may be able to find something better. And I also feel like I want to find a better technique for actually drying my hair because that took forever and it was it's just not giving. And I'm also excited to see like how my hair looks the longer that it grows this year because I'm really trying to get to hip length. So I want my wash and goes to be like this when they're dry. So we'll see what it's looking like. But I would say for waist length hair this is ridiculous but i mean it's cute it's a cute shade i'm not mad at it at all it's cute and just like a full transparency moment i'm kind of like want to punch myself in the face because it's like i had all this sitting under wigs and braids for years and i had no idea i've never seen my hair do this and i do think that part of it is because these types of products were not available whenever i first went natural so wash and goes were always poof city for me but also, I just think that I just never took the time to really invest in my natural hair type and, like, embracing the texture. I love my hair, but I've never embraced it, I guess you can say. Like, I've accepted it, but I don't think I've ever embraced it like that. So, now I'm excited to share this journey with you guys. And, like, it's Black History Month, so it's fitting. So, yeah, comment any other product combinations y'all want me to try. I bought a bunch, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to have some of the ones that y'all suggest. And we're going to try those out. Definitely going to stick with the gel and the mousse combo. I think that's going to be my go-to. So, like, let me know your favorites also let me know how you feel about your wash and goes and about your hair texture and like how you work on embracing that because it's definitely not easy with all the lack of representation and the stigmas and the stereotypes but yeah thank you guys so much for watching thank you for being on this journey with me i'm super excited and i'm ready so if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up click the subscribe button put your notifications on so you don't miss any uploads follow me on tiktok and instagram for daily content and check out my hair care line if you're interested in getting a product to help promote growth all right guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye beautiful painter i love the way you painted the sky tonight